Let's see if this works. Connecting. Connecting, connecting. Okay. YouTube is up, Twitch is up. It was cold up here. Electric blanket down. This is cold. This is cold. Hi, Willow. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? <clears throat> Blessed be. Good morning to thee. How are you? How are you? I'm still getting kind of situated here. Waiting myself. This is still connecting to YouTube, but it seems like it's going through, which is good. Here my Twitch is behaving. There. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm okay. I think I'm coming down with a cold. I haven't been sleeping so great. And uh just got the sniffles this morning, and it took me a little time to get get going. My friend Aaron is back. He's going to be She's outside right now enjoying her coffee. <laughs> and um, I'm going to try to a little bit of my Oracle deck today. I'm going to zoom in. Here we go. There we go. How does this look? Does this look okay? Again, I don't have music on. See today. Are you kicking? <laughs> Today I'm working on a few of these. Erin's gonna come up in a little bit. I don't. We'll see if we can both fit on here when we are painting together. Hi, Gabrielle. Good morning. How do you do? It looks very pixelated on the. Um... I'll go tell her. <laughs> Willow says, Aaron, hurry up your sweet ass. <laughs> Message delivered. <laughs> Thank you, my dear Gabrielle. I'm going to unplug my little speaker here so I can move my computer back. Everybody can see. <clears throat> What's everybody doing this morning? Mm, coffee. Willow, look. <laughs> I still have my pendulum here from uh, the other day. Let me, if that doesn't work for you, I am, that's just what pendulum told me. I am totally able to work around that or differently. I know, I know everybody's got stuff in their lives. So if there's something else that we can negotiate on and that works better for you, <sighs> please let me know because it sounds so fun. I'll have to do a little bit of research uh, as to what I what I would put on your pages. Good. Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm just gonna get ready to start painting here. Oh, here's another one. I didn't add this to. I didn't scan this one in. I think there's another one we can put there. Where would you fit? We back here. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It goes by Bert. The name it wanted. No idea. So I am going to get a little more organized here. Be moved over, move down.
I'd love to be able to have music, but I don't want YouTube to, um, hi Bert, I don't want YouTube to block the video because of copyright infringement. Not good. What are you guys up to today? What is everyone doing? Okay, go get your coffee. Go get that coffee. Hi, Katie. No, no, not today. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> and it's like, I want up. He's a little too worked up right now. Knock over all my stuff here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, YouTube. What the hell? Let's see. Um, I hear you. It's gonna be a quiet stream today. <laughs> Erin is outside soaking up sun. She is drawing a, she's drawing something that she wants to watercolor. I know that's what she's working on. Had to make phone calls and clean up after my dog. Oh no, poor puppy. Was it just, was it just a brief sickness? Or a uh, puppy doing okay? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Poor thing. Little blue in those, so it matches. Oh, I hope so too. Are you crocheting the the second hat? Hi, Corey. How are you? Good evening. Where where are you uh coming from? We are. We're, it's morning here in California. Good evening to you. Then what are you up to today? Tonight. Are you up to tonight? Watching me? <laughs> oh, that's right. UK. Oh. How was your day today then? UK. Wonderful. Thank you for coming back and hanging out. Erin is here. She's outside. She's gonna come come in shortly. And we're gonna watercolor a little bit together as promised. We were actually going to try to get together last night. But I was feeling very hermit like. And I ate my dinner and watched, rewatched True Blood. And that's all I did. <laughs> I needed me some Alexander Skarsgård time. So I do these sketches really rough and the watercolors rough. And then I scan them. And then I put the words, I know it's hard to see. I'm not sure if the words are coming up in that slideshow over there. Uh, but I, I take them into Photoshop and kind of clean them up a little bit. Not too bad. Cole gave me the idea of art and that'll work. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm, so, I'm sorry you still have a cold. I feel like he gave it to me. He sent it across the way. Oh, I hope you feel better. 
What kind of shadow work, if I may ask? No color, fingerless mitts for my older daughter. Right. Oh, that's the fingerless gloves. Finish my granddaughter's second troll hat. I have a paid order for a troll hat. That's so cool. I love it. Is the snow still settled there in New York or is it melting? Hello, you're back. Did you get your coffee? I know the uh, this frame here is quite zoomed out, but that's for when Aaron decides to come inside. We can both fit in the same shot. <laughs> we can both fit. So I'm really loving the art in this uh, Oracle deck that I'm creating, and it is after the practical magic movie basics and symbolism and things like that. And I want to be able to share it, but I can't call it the practical magic deck. Would I be able to call it Owen's article? Article. <laughs> Owen's oracle? I think I could call it that and it would be okay. Not to brag or anything, but there have been a couple of Instagram posts that Alice Hoffman herself has liked and retweeted or re reshared or whatever. So I'm thinking I have the in with the author. So maybe I can get away with Owen's Oracle and it will be fine. Who knows? I think I mentioned before, I want to send this. There are companies you can send your JPEGs to or just just your, your art, and they will print it on cards, playing cards, the size you want. And I'm thinking these are going to be like, they are, they're this size. Here we go. I like the big cards. They're going to be that size. I know bigger cards are harder to shuffle, but. I like them, I like them big. No pun intended. But the thing is, will other people want this deck in their collection? Yay. Oh, I think I hear Aaron. I think I hear her. That's good because I need a paper towel and I don't want to go downstairs. Maybe she could get one for me. You love the pancakes. <laughs> Thanks. I actually want to redo this one. It didn't turn out as great as I was hoping. I rushed it because I hadn't done watercolor in a long time. Oh, Corey, you can't, my dear, you can't judge. From another artist, I'm really having a a learning curve trying to remember that it's it's all your passion is put into that project. So please, if if there was a way to to help you not, um, you know, judge between between ours, that uh, I've just had some practice, and I I think my love and passion for this comes across. It just takes a lot of practice, and I'm sure there are other things you're an amazing. Uh, artist at or or that is your skill or your talent my dear please oh I'm sure your stuff is wonderful looks now lummy what do you like to do you are you a painter are you a sketcher a drawer a dancer what do you enjoy creating I hear the front door. Hello? Hello? <laughs> You're cute. How'd it go? So That's let let me so grab you a nice. chair. All right. Oh yeah. man. I'll let you show. Okay. I show you. Oh, you post the pictures on Facebook and YouTube, and then you see. You may come up with orders. 
for Patreon supporters. Yes. I haven't gotten that far. I have to draw and paint all 52 and then, oh, Willow says, yay, Erin. <laughs> she, she's in the loo. You in the loo. Grab Aaron a chair. Enjoy drawing and painting using pastels. Oh my gosh, I can't do pastels. Bless you for doing those. Charcoal in such great courses. He got into art work a long time. It comes in cycles, right? It really does. That's awesome. I haven't done charcoal in a long time. I think sketching is scary to me now. It is. It is. Yes, these are going to be oracle cards. It's going to be 52, I think. 51, possibly. Erin, if you hand up that that desk chair down there, I'll grab it. You can sit with it. me. Me. Yes. Yeah. I love the face on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one probably, I kind of just let you do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm <laughs> stuck. Note to self by Sucka. By an extra folding chair. Extra folding chair or un stool. Oh. There. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. Yay. Oh, yeah. oh, gosh. Wow. Wowee. Hi. Those are so good. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> But he's been awaiting your arrival. Okay, oh, I'm like to show off my to... my shirt. Yes, read it. Read here it. We go. Do no harm, but take no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, that's right. I can see it. How was it out here? Outside? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it's cool. There we go. All right. Don't even know where to begin. <laughs> That's one begin with what you have, you could get a Patreon. I've heard of this. Can you explain Patreon? Is it kind of like a GoFundMe? We're going to get people to help support the cost of painting. And the people usually offer supporters and in return. Erin from Hori in the UK. Waves Hi. like a mad fairy day mother. Hey, Erin. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey, good morning. <laughs> Oh, so cool. These guys are so sweet. Okay, so do I want to do this? Because I got the picture good, but I'm like, okay, I've never done watercolor before. Well, I mean, I've done watercolor, but not. Missy Miss Zeka is the uh, educated artist. <laughs> she, did, she done she done gone to school and all oh, for, for that. And I never learned technique, especially watercolor. Always go light <laughs> to dark. Light to Build dark. Build up the layers. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Is this a good one, or should I start with, with a face, since I'm always doing faces? Should I start with something? I think you could start with her face, but... um, Maybe a bigger face? Yeah, because, like, doing the oh, female no, face, you can... Is, well, this, has, is has the other side this. dirty? Uh, No, but it's a different texture. Does it matter? No, I don't think it matters. I do both sides. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, well, then, I'm, I'm going to let your uh your viewers decide on which I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I think doing the okay. face, you're just kind of like painting on makeup sometimes, but you're going, yeah. you're building up the. So this was another one. That that one might be a little easier. Um, I don't. Skin color and tone is hard with watercolor, but you, oh, could, okay. you could probably do it and there's not a lot of contrast. Right. So but we, do, do we want contrast? I think that's, that's cool. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> I just your body language is yeah. really cool. I love that. I could do that. Do that one too. Hey, you already have this one drawn I out. I do have this one drawn out. Start with your face. Okay, okay, I'll start. Start there. Start. start. So start. there's brushes. Brushes there. Let me get a paper towel and I'll wipe down the palette. Okay. So as far as 
painting over. So now I have some of these dark lines I'm going to go over and erase. Um, they, I usually let the paint dry and look off the Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, and the dark spots you have shaded in mm -hmm. are eventually going to be dark that's true. spots anyway. So that's true. Um, like certain, certain lines I don't want showing up. So. Pretty art in Gabby. Aw, thank you. Okay. I kind of have a cheat sheet that I made for painting colors. Yes! As you can tell, uh, I'm super organized. She's kind of pretty. She's kind of funny? No, she's kind of pretty. Oh, she is pretty. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. So I, guess I wish I could tear this out. Start with the, the skin color. So the latest, let's see, where are her lightest features? On her neck? On her forehead? Okay. On the bridge of her nose? All the places you put your highlighter. Mm -hmm. So what you could do is do... A generic like wash first. Okay. So let's find the. I would say one of those. That's like the yellow and the yellow and this one. This one. So do you no, no, this one and this one? These two. Okay. So what 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 do I do? How do I... So you will throw some color in here and move it over here. Start with a oh, okay. little blink area. Okay. And then we can use a tester page. Whatever you want. And the more water, the lighter. So that's where we're going to start, like the more transparent. That's good. So you. Card. Thank you, Ethan. I'll be back. My connection is bad. Okay. Okay. Is it my connection? No. Okay. Way too dark. It's a little dark, but you can add water. just use water and dab it with the. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. Or you could just dab the her forehead and her nose, and then pull up, and keep the the dark areas, but you. Use the paper it won't. to pull your light areas. All right, we have a lady, a colorful face. Yes. Thanks. You take that. Oh. Oh. Lighten her up a Is everyone bit. seeing this? This is awesome. Um, lighten it up. <laughs> Um, and you can do cool. that for under her yeah, wherever, cheeks. Yeah, wherever that has to happen. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah. I'll just I'll just do kind Let's of a, there. a wash all over. It is. Okay. okay, enjoy your dinner. Bye bye. Who's gonna eat? Willow. Bye Let's Willow. Go yeah, it's a really good color. As long as it's in the wet stage, you can always pull. The Do you always use this these types of brushes? I I like these little ones. For um if I'm doing something like this, mm -hmm. I'll wet the I'll use the big brushes and just take the plain water mm -hmm. and do a wash over where I want the color. So I could go around the whole mason jar. Okay, so do it this way. And the color will just stay where you where you put the water. So it'll run all around. Wherever you don't want. Ooh. Next step. Okay. One day I'll have a bigger desk. <laughs> so where? Dab a towel. Mm-hmm. Dab. 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 Dab.
right? You're doing it! And the, the paper can take a little scrubbing. It's, it's pretty good at shedding. All right, I did it. One thing I've never done is use watercolors. You should try just even pr practicing lettering. I would, that's where I would suggest starting. You can see like the flow of how the water reacts to even different papers, not even using watercolor paper. I like using watercolor pencils, but haven't used them in a while. I'll be back real soon. Okay, Ethan, yeah, Aaron uses watercolor pencils a lot. I was cheating yeah, though. I mean, I've never really known how to do the watercolor. I, I don't know. I don't. I guess I wasn't really cheating. Oh, you! I love watching her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll have to go. Hmm. Okay. Always go dark. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing the. Uh... That's right. Throw in a little bit of this. Do whatever you want. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. <laughs> do not do a test. Okay. Oh, I'll just do it. Yeah, let's do dark. Ah, uh, uh, you're right. You're going to go dark too fast. Okay, okay yeah. You can't go back. Okay. Here, I'm going to do. Okay, I'm curious to know if my Twitch is working at all. Who the hell knows? No. Oh, it's running. Oh, no. Dab, dab, dab. Some more dab, dab, dab. Mm -hmm. He seems to be working. Yeah, if you add more water while it's already on the paper, it'll mm -hmm. start to look more gradient. Okay. Uh, Wait, if I do what? If you... Your dark lines, if you add a little more water mm -hmm. to them, they'll then move that paint into her skin. It'll look like a gradient a little more. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <gasps> He's doing it! Doing it! Yay, this is fun. You get me so. No. Oh. Ooh, gets me so arty. Oh. oh. Hey, you can use your fingers too. Yes. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Man. You know what um, lamb's ear is the plant? Ooh. It kind of has the same color as some of the succulents outside. It's like a bluey purple green color. And I don't know how to make it. I want to make it. What, what, what? I'm looking for, oh, blue and red. Right? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Blue. Oh, no, orange. Hey. Oh, yeah, I get to play with eyeshadow and... If it comes, oh, this will be fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, who? I love this little hat. So cute. Which one? Oh, yay! Hmm. Mm. Well, okay, it, it, it is. <laughs> it is. You can also take a dry brush, too. Mm -hmm. And, like, the wet line you just put down, you can take the dry brush and drag it um, into the rest of her arm. If you're... Ooh, look what I did. This is cool. A little dark. A little dark. Oh, what color should I make her dress? 
I got all these colors to choose from. <laughs> all, these are all the colors you can make. Was it tertiary? No, that's oh. three. That's three colors. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, let's pick a background. I'll, I'll at least do I like that color background. I do too. Can I use this brush? Use whatever you want. I'll make that color. So I just made that color, which is more green. Or palette. It'll just get you. It's okay. <laughs> like that one? Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. For that one. Oh, it's mm -hmm. the first one you have. Okay, so you're going to do. You know, on a map. So it's this one. Mm -hmm. And. Which one did <laughs> Oh, no. That blue. Okay, I said that one. Mm -hmm. And this one. Is that it, or does it need more gray? Looks good to me. You can add a little. This yeah. Okay. So I added a little. Oh no! I smudged my. No. My dang on flower. Sorry. That's no. That's okay. <laughs> It's fixable. All right, so is this a thing where you just kind of mm -hmm. more water, water it, the more water, the more fun. The more water, more. And it's okay if I uh, get watercolor on your thing like that. You yeah. can't. You can't mess up at all. Okay, so another technique you can do mm -hmm. is hand me another wet brush or a big brush, and then take water, mm -hmm. and so it doesn't get on. Her dress, mm -hmm. outside of her dress, mm -hmm. with with the plain water, mm -hmm. and then all your watercolor will stay okay. just where you put the plain the water. Okay, and it should run. You you can like really get it wet and around her head and around the other side. Okay, Yay. and it all should stay. Stay right put. Now. Hey Gabrielle, yeah. welcome back. Almost 11 already. What the hell happened? The hell? I'm sad. Here we go. What color should I make these flowers? I need input. Here, I have two, two different flowers. Should I make the hat a faded faded blue gray color what color should i make the hat oh uh what time of year are you doing this for, for um any, the, the sabbath or just no this is for the the oracle deck oh. so the words for this one are bone tree Which hat? Pride, confidence, truth. Hmm. Pride, confidence. Confidence. Uh, but I also want to keep it witchy looking. Sacral chakra. Um, ooh, how do you keep these things flat? Just like that. Oh, with, I mean, well, you can tape it down, but um, it's just going to... It'll flatten itself out when it dries. Yeah, you're good. Sacral chakra, you say? Mm-hmm. I said, I said, I said, boy. I said, I said, I said. I won't lie. I'm not terribly disappointed. Yay! What is it about like drawing from something, like being able to look at something? 
That, mm, I mean, that, that makes it easier. I just. Oh, for sure. And not relying on your own power. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wonder if it's more um, left brain's the artistic side, well, or right brain is. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Define define artistic. Well, so I'm thinking you know? the. Um, I think it's more the masculine side. You're already you already have your stuff, and then you can put it in order. Ah, you know what I mean. And yeah, then the feminine yeah. side would be you're like you have to create everything <laughs> from mm -hmm. your mind. Yeah. Is it? So what's what's your crew talking about? Uh, Gabrielle came back. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> what's everybody planning today or for the weekend? Ooh, are there any Yule celebrations going on this weekend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a Yule meetup at Goddess Studio. I heard that there, the word uh, pinata. We're having a pinata. Huh? Is, in, is in our celebrations. That's interesting. Yes, yeah, it's Veronica, right? And oh, so bitch. I'm not used to down. to beating things for candy being associated I, with. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure what they're gonna fill it with. Hmm. I don't know if they're filling it. <laughs> Dang, I really touch this. Um, and I feel bad that I can't stew. No. Um, okay, oh. so I messed this up, and now I have to wait for it to dry before I can put any color. It's all gonna work. <laughs> gonna have to watch me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Nothing. Really? Art can't be wrong. Right? Hmm? Art can't be wrong. Who said that? Me. Okay. <laughs> You're like, who said that? I've seen some ugly art in my time. I know, right? It's, yeah. <laughs> Da, da, da. Get this. Color. So you could do her dress the um, opposite color on the color. Yeah. Would that be blue? So yeah, I guess we would kind of want a gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's kind of what she's That's up what to. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. I guess I'll do orange flowers since nobody has an opinion. Oh, oh more, you know, orange is actually uh, good because that's what you're in sacral. Say? Well, say, the sacral chakra that's orange. So, how do you does it make noise like if someone comments? It doesn't. So I gotta, gotta look in. Five, five people. But what are they doing? What are you guys doing? So quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they mentioned their Yule plans before, but we'd love to hear them again. I know. I don't know if Ethan's still in there. They had. He lives in Texas. No. Oh. And lucky guy got to go and gather some first snowfall. Oh wow! He, using it. he collected it. And Snow water. Which is really cool. We have a small delay between when we post and when you see the post. Also on above us, I know that there's the um the chat box, but I'm getting I have another little open window here that is I don't know. Let me see if I can fix it. It is uh, Yeah, because I see that the chat box is not all the way. In the... See how it, okay, I know that one is your bigger. I have no plans. Oh, I see. Oh, the okay, the messages are scrolling down. Ah, that helps. Okay, no, I see. We're getting we're getting the messages just back. No plans. How come? 
feels the 21st. What are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What we're, they, oh. we're approaching a, my a one year anniversary of my spiritual awakening, Kundalini awakening. Oh, that happened oh. on Solstice. Wow, that's crazy. Midnight at Solstice, we had a that's a we had a cloud, a cloud burst. I, I'll never forget that day. I, sitting down in my living room at midnight and going a little crazy because I was <laughs> uh, going through withdrawals from antidepressants. Mm. And bam, solstice. <laughs> the, out of fucking nowhere, uh, solstice. Out, out of nowhere, I started, you know, everything changes. I got a burst of um, visions of uh, equations. Still, right. Still right. don't know what they mean. And, uh, and my sight changed. The way I, I saw color changed. Um, and it was crazy because right at midnight, it started pouring rain. Hmm. That's amazing. I hope that happens. Let's get some rain up here. Come on, we only need one awakening. <laughs> Don't need that many awakenings. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty intense. That's awesome. I sensed... Uh, I felt I felt kind of bad because after the fact, I'm like, Amalia, I need to talk to you. Something crazy oh, has happened. And, and yeah. I felt bad, you know, because she confessed that uh, she's, she has she's, her own things she's dealing with. Well, right? yeah. Well, well, that she's she's never been lucky enough to have that kind of experience. Mm. Um, and boy, was it a crazy experience. Nice. But, you know, just like, you know, like... Uh, with um, pan panthera channeling Arishna Gall. You know, oh wow! Yes, yeah, that was amazing. It's like, hey, Amalia, she she waited a while too before her first crazy spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. Although, at the croning ceremony, you, you could tell that uh, it was very, you know, third eye opening. Mm. The uh, the ceremony that uh, you know they they had Amalia lay down on the ground and. Oh my God! It was such a beautiful ceremony. Everybody walked um, uh, two two at a time. Two two priestesses at a time would uh, hold a piece of sheer colorful material and the veils. The, the veils, veils, yeah, and and walk over Amalia. Um, did they place the veils on her? What what we did was we walked over her and and we just kind of like rubbed it over you know her face mm -hmm. um, twice. So we mm -hmm. walked. Uh, from her feet to her head to her head from her head to her feet and then drop the veil at her feet um and i remember you know after that you know she she sat up and it's she she was in tears oh, and and powerful stuff. very very powerful and for a while she just stood there and looked at all of us tears falling down her face and she was just like wow wow you know <laughs> so you, you can tell it was and she's not i mean she intense. she's full of emotions but mm -hmm. she has to hold it mm -hmm. hold she holds the space for all of us all the time oh yeah so it's probably that's awesome that she had her moment to release yeah too. yeah we were all just crying we were all oh, they're beautiful <laughs> voices um you're working until afternoon then we'll be doing ritual for, for you correct i think it stinks that you have to get, got to wait. <laughs> you got to wait all of your work, but that is the time to, to do it is in the evening anyway. I will celebrate you by myself, solitary eclectic, and Christmas will be, will Christmas be giving a bit of presents and cooking, meal for me and my friend. You and the buff. That's nice. I wanted to make um, wa wassail. What's wassail? It is a... Yule drink <laughs> for oh. the season, and I think it's some kind of punch. It's I don't think it's alcoholic. You could probably make it alcoholic, but um, you make it in a crock pot, and it has like like uh, cloves and it has apples and oranges and lots of lots of good stuff. So and I was gonna make that for the meetup, but I'm like, yeah, I'm like <laughs> but I wanted to do. My grandma would always make walnut roll, and it looks like a. Your log when it's all rolled up. Oh, cool. Was sale. Wa was sale. Yep. Has anybody made that before? 
be interested to know if how your recipe turned out. Ooh. How's it going over there? Mm hmm. Good, I think. Ooh, I love. Cool. Very cool. Good. Oh, Sister like makes it. it for Samhain. Oh, cool. Is that a I, is that a traditional Samhain thing too? For some reason, I was connecting it with Yule. Nice. It was good. That is good to look at. Okay, I'm gonna leave the hat alone for now. What to do anything to right now? Should I make do these brooms look okay or Ooh, they don't they look great. Mm. Well, you no. have to see. No, I don't. <laughs> they look like shit. They look like <laughs> I'm gonna put music on. Do it. But, uh. I have a feeling that YouTube will be. Why? Um, because oh, copyright because, uh, stuff. Apple cider ish method, I believe. Yeah, it is. I heard it's like apple cider. Oh, yeah, that's what that was the other thing. It, you need like a gallon of apple cider. Who sells apple cider around here? I've only gotten it at orchards. You can find it at, uh, it's hard to find, and they don't carry a lot of it, mm. but, but most grocery stores do. They'll I, carry a little bit. Yeah, I, I make this apple cider, uh, um, whenever we get together, I make this thing in a crock pot where it's apple cider and spiced rum. Mm. And nice. I serve it with a cinnamon stick. People seem to really like it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. It sounds delicious. Oh, EJ. So you could Maybe add. Shade. Yeah. Oh, I could get us some new water. Yeah. I mean, the skin does have a tin blue, a little blue tinge to it. This is my blood underneath, but we don't need, we don't need that. <laughs> so, you said you're going on a date? Going on a date! Are you going somewhere? Are you cooking dinner? What's happening? I want to go get sushi. <laughs> I'm You're still all, craving I, it. Thinking about it. I was so cool. tempted last night. I was like trying to convince. I was okay. Either Aaron's gonna go with me, or the other Aaron's gonna go with me. <laughs> Night's coming. I think it'll be better tonight. Thank you for the water. Oh yes. Uh, we get it at the grocery store. I never made it myself. You can get you. Do you mean you never made apple cider yourself, or the the wassail? The orchard I used to work at made apple cider slushies, Ooh. and they were amazing. But at the time, being in it, um, I don't know, I was like 14, because mm -hmm. you could work there at 14. I didn't know that apple cider made you go poop. Oh, it does. <laughs> I did not know that either. <laughs> so, I, you know, they you could have your cook. They had a bakery, so there was cookies and... You know, all the and pies and turnovers and apple cider slushies. And so that's Jeez. like what I had for lunch usually. And uh, no one told me until after the fact. I was like, oh, man, I, <laughs> I need to, oh, I need to go poop. Um, I don't think I'm pregnant. No. Huh? <laughs> Craving it. Are you pregnant? I'm good on the birth control. We're good. Nope. <laughs> I think I'm just catching the catching a cold. My taste buds are like, I need this. I need this. 
It'll clean you out. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Gabrielle. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. They sell wassail at the store. That is so lucky. You can also oh, go. Um, let's give up. You see under her eyelids, <laughs> but it's like it's like an a U a U shape. You know that you know how much it is. Oh yeah, faces. That's what I did. You want? Yeah, um, Yule's on a Thursday. I'm afraid to leave anything lit overnight, you know. Candles and everything. I have a couple fake candles. I think that could count. <laughs> Safety first. Sure. Sure. A couple years in a row, my... I was living with my sisters. Mm-hmm. Uh, instead of getting a tree, we just we had a ficus tree for decoration. Oh, cute! Yeah, so we just decorated a ficus tree. Yeah, nice. I'm in love with my ability to make noises. I really am. Uh, <laughs> you know, because I I had such a hard time yeah when I was learning or or teaching myself how to draw. Okay. And you know, like your your mom will praise you. Oh, this is. Boring. Um, all it takes is that one person that says, what the fuck is wrong with her nose? But uh, for you to know. decide that's it. You know, nose, that's, I'm just going to make that my specialty now. Yeah. Practice. practice yeah. Practice. Now, no. Nobody, Noses are your bitch. Yes, noses are my bitch. She does, man. That's a nice drawing and all, but what's wrong with your nose? I'm like, I hate you, but I'll fix it. <laughs> Better at the store, Aldi's store sells a juice called Wasal only occasionally. Oh, I think we have an Aldi's here. Uh -huh. Aldi's? A L D I S. You're so cute. You work like this. Oh, you're protective. <laughs> you're protective <laughs> of your art. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> is that what it is? Protection? Yeah. Yeah, I done messed up. Yeah. Wet it and dab it and it'll come right up. Okay. Awesome. So just wet the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm learning. I'm gonna make our picture a little smaller. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. What's going on, Twitch? We'll be hanging out today. It's Friday. Not that that necessarily it is, and usually it. it's um nighttime there on it. But my YouTube community is Pride and True. Yeah, you know little bit. I hope I'm gonna do these brooms because I want them to be colorful, like that uh brooms that I should. You know that that lady had. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you what do you mean? How are you doing? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> do I do a or do, do a couple plain and do one color oh, those are good. yeah 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 color uh should I Mm -hmm. So, we actually like these. Hey, 
Hey, mocap. Good morning. How are you? Willow says, I don't like it, Aaron. Freaking so hell, hell with you. I freaking love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hell with you, Willow. <laughs> Yay, thank you. <laughs> mocap, what's going on? I'm using, are you proud of me? I'm using Restream. Mocap is my Twitch guru. Please. Hello to Aaron. Just hanging out a little bit this morning. What are you up to? I was waiting for you to show up. I was on, we were on two days. Yes, no, Wednesday. Day, day, yeah, day, day, day. Wednesday too. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's not here. Mm. I did put deodorant on, I promise. <laughs> First thing I do is smell under my arm. <laughs> Um, I'm on YouTube as well. I'm on YouTube on Hi. Can somebody post my uh link? Where am I? Oh here. E When Aaron, when Aaron talks, they're static. Oh, no. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we ha our mic is way up here. It says our stream health is quite good on both. We'll, we'll try to speak up and speak clearly. Okay. So it's only, wait, where's the mic? Oh, here's the mic. Am I too close? I think so. Yo! Oh. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Surprise, <laughs> mother! <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Oh, it's so funny to <laughs> see the delayed. Yeah, the kitty jumps. <laughs> jumped up. He wanted to earlier, and I said, nope. I remember the first time I, I saw um, your broom closet. Mm. Which we'll call it. Oh, yeah. And it was, um, you, you had just had music playing to some of your art. Mm -hmm. You were painting, and... <laughs> Did one of them jump up or something? Yeah, a couple of Aww. times they the kitties were getting water. Assholes. So cool. <laughs> I know, they drink, the, they drink that, even mm -hmm. when it's diluted, or... Uh, Used, used water. Disgusting, you're disgusting. <laughs> You've heard of a kinder surprise, but never a kitty surprise. He's very intrusive. He means well. <laughs> He's so cute. How are your kitties? They're are they ready, ready for the move? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. No choice. Yeah. Do they sense that it's coming or they're just kind of, they're, they're just fine. Kinda, they're just kind of. Ridiculous. Scandalous love affairs, she calls them. <laughs> that is a love oh. affair with the Shvali mm -hmm. for James. Oh, oh don't. I don't know what. Mocap, is it any better or not really? Oh, Look at her. Oh, she's got kind of a. Uh... So I would add more under her bones. It looks really amazing. Thank you. What are you sending? Hey. Hmm. What are you doing? What is how'd you do that? What's on shot? What's on shot? I don't know. He linked <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> You 
keep trying. Wow, what I've never what I don't think I've heard of odd shot. How 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 forget lady in red, give me Aaron's lady in white. Mm -hmm. Got you, Kitty. Now you're stuck. Oh, this is how Aaron sounds on Twitch. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe it's because you oh, are too yeah. close. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Smokey. <laughs> we'll try to keep it down. Oh, yeah, I'll see. I probably have the mic turned up as well. Let me see. Property. Thanks, Mocap. How'd you do that? Whoops. Audio device. Audio. Capture only. Who knows? Now she's got. Now she's got a face to die for. He, he really does, Willow. He, he demands it. Talking about uh, Kitty Cat. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Someone wants to be on camera. <laughs> Rosie posted a link, but not to person to see. Oh, um, mocap probably me or mocap. He, uh, there's a user, Twitch user named mocap who probably posted something, and it's a show how our audio is sounding. Oh no, there's so this um, there's another user. There's YouTube and Twitch, and I have them both uh, both synced up through Restream. So instead of just doing one or the other, I was told the other day, you can do both at the same time if you use this. No, no, he's not a hacker. Oh, define hacker. Do you see the name? Do you see his name pop up? Or maybe I just see. Still used to. Yes, I didn't either. <laughs> I would have done it sooner for more um, agony, witch, witchy stuff through through YouTube. But that this week and a little bit of last was the first time I did YouTube live. Okay, cool. It shows on Restream Chat. Good. I want you to be included, Mocap. Hmm. Mm. It looks like our video on the webcam is easy. Oh, that's why. Let me turn up the resolution. I'm gonna freak everybody out. Just give it a second. Second. Battle. Make face cam bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time this. <laughs> Good morning, Ariana. Face to steal. Aramis. Aramis. Like that mm -hmm. name. Yeah, I. The resolution a little bit. Maybe it's just dirty. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh boy, did I mess it all up? <laughs> Being a troublemaker. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
not sure what's happening. <laughs> Our video is working on Twitch and YouTube, but it's not working on the uh, OBS, which is where I control everything. <laughs> I get it. <sighs> I don't want to explain. <laughs> you get it. You know, mine seems to be working. I'm letting Aaron take over. I'm doing what? <laughs> I'm doing what? While I fiddle with all this stuff. Let me know if this is still working because it's not working on the OBS right now. How many people are in the top? Six like minded trouble making <laughs> beggings. <laughs> just do on do on the Twitch. You don't know what the hell we're talking about. Can't trust beggings. Oh sure. Does that do the command still work? Nightbot should be on mocap. Oh there we go. Okay. There we go. Man, channel are available. Yes. I think I made a hell oh, on. Let me see if I if I made it if I did it correctly. Yeah. I made a command. You are you so proud of me? <laughs> are you just so proud? Willow says, yeah, okay, now my laptop is letting me use YouTube again. And yay, I'm coming off Twitch. Okay. I'm so confused. But you're, are you our third user on Twitch? That makes me feel good. Well, it says it's still working. I'll just let it play. If you need more light, that little turns on. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a no. It's a no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to make a broom, another broom, <laughs> real bad. I'm making a broom. <laughs> All righty, so I'm just gonna start. <laughs> I so you could do a light gold wash over everything. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, gonna do. Yeah, and then you build up the. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, committed. You're in it. You're in it. In it totally. So the Santa Ana's blew the broom head off of my broom that I had hanging outside. Yeah. It popped off all in one piece. Oh <laughs> so I put it in the storage for now, but the star is coming up. I'm going to make another one. I still have that handle. I think that would be an awesome piece to hang over your garden door. Uh -huh. So we'll have to go out looking. Oh, uh, this, this greenhouse is going to be ridiculous. I mean, like in a good way. Oh, I see. Oh, Yes. <laughs> Uh, Aramis, that's Willow Moonshine is Aramis on Twitch. Got it. I recall that. So are you going to do a broom this year with me? Of course. Yes. Now I, I know which say, plant I, to look for. I love not having to be stupid all here. Yay! Sit in a bunch of stupid meetings. You get to um, hang out with me. Now, Mike did say, Aaron, I am going to need you to work until I pay off my car, but then <laughs> you can quit. I need to bring in 2000 a month. You clear 2000 a month. So easy. Easy. Will you ace. Thank you, Willow. We have a lot going on on this uh, screen here. <laughs> Gabrielle says she loves all of the pictures. Oh, yay. Thank you, Gabrielle. Yes. So what are you going to look into just at the casino? Uh, 
you know, there's, I mean, I might look into similar work that, that I do just lower level. Um, so it'd be like, like stress-free. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I could, if I tried to get my level, I could document control or quality assurance, you know, I could make, uh, about between 70 and 90 a year, but that's a lot of stress. Yes. Or I could do just, you know, little peon quality job, make about 50, 40 to 50 K a year and have zero stress. That uh, sounds better. That does sound <laughs> better. Um, yeah, I'm by no means financially driven. So. You're, you're open to opportunity. Yeah, I did. There, there is a position. Um, oh, so, uh, you know, whenever you do magic and, and you've called your spirit guides, there's going to be some, some residual, uh, energy, some, some residual presence watchers and, and deities that are paying, paying you lots of attention. So I figured, you know, since I did magic the night before last, um, I would call upon the remaining, you know, any, any remaining energy and your remaining spirit guys. I said, okay, I'd like to test for manifesting here. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm just trying to find, you know, I, I need to know that I'll be able to find, I'm saying this out loud. Um, you know, I need to know I'll be able to find work easily. I need to know that I'll be able to, um, bring in the amount. I need to not worry about it. Mm -hmm. Before I finished my thought, I get an alert on Indeed. Oh, hey, we have a position available. So it's <laughs> like, <right>. okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So that, that was nice. It made me, you know, just, it, it took the worry away. That's awesome. It's going to be it. Yeah, so we will be making brooms. Yep. And we will be making um, spell candles. Spell candles. We will be making <laughs> tantric <laughs> massage oil. We will be making spell candles. Mm -hmm. Spell about Boy watercolors at Joanna Fabrics. How are they working? She asked if my. Watercolors were Ooh. no. <laughs> they were on sale. Thanks, Mocap. Another uh another command. OBS is working, but it's not letting me click on anything right now. So I'm gonna let it go and not try to move some stuff around. It looks okay. Ended up being a little more expensive than I wanted. That's a bummer. Do you don't like the the color, the hues that uh, you got? I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> the hues that they create together. Wait, who are you talking to? Gabrielle said she <laughs> bought uh, a watercolor set at Joanne's, and she's not digging it. Oh. Um. I'm gonna have another question. All right. It is 11.30. 30, uh, as time goes by so quickly. I know, because we have so much fun. We have so much fun together. Oh, no sniffles. Oh, no sniffles. Over. Bye. <laughs> Come back soon. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. And I think they're good. I'm still new to this. It, oh man, it was um big learning curve when I started to, to do watercolors a couple years ago. I mean, I had to do them in college. And um, like when you're a kid, you have those little watercolors. So I hated, I hated them. And then something clicked and I ended up doing a bunch of portraits, like a series of portraits uh, for gifts, as gifts. And I just kind of had to practice with it. The first couple were atrocious and then it steadily started getting better. I found that painting stuff that you like, that you like looking at and that you wouldn't mind having hanging in your own home helps. And I think I mentioned earlier, starting with, um, 
maybe doing a uh, a color grid to see they saw kind of I agree start with start with doing a color map take all of your colors and you do mixing and you see what colors you can get out of them and I think that's a really good place to start because then you kind of have a cheat sheet as to you know what you're trying to achieve it's just it's it's I liked doing this because you can make ugly colors and it's okay. Like these to me are not so. But if I'm ever going to do a landscape and I need natural greens, then these are perfect. So I, I think maybe try to try to do a color grid and then you'll have you'll have the leeway to make ugly colors and it's okay. Just finished Princess Celestia and little my little paw, my niece. Oh, good. Being productive today, Willow. That's awesome. Oh, you made one already. Okay. I see. Orange. Don't think. Oh, I do have one. I have two. Good. That's that I need. Them's the two that I need. Get back over for Erin to. And when she's ready. Like, make this staff look a little more crooked. Brooms. Need a pansy. Looks cute. Just learn to start from light to dark and build, like you said. It is so hard because I was doing, acrylic was like where I was at. And then when I moved out here, I didn't do art for a while. And so like in acrylic, kind of everything goes, you kind of, and if you mess up, it's okay, just paint right over it. But you really, you don't have to work light or dark to light. It's helpful. But watercolor was a total mind fuck because you have to work <laughs> light to dark. And it was totally black backwards. And then immediately after I started doing the oil painting and that is, um, that is dark to light too, because you're building building up like a mountain layers. This is different. How was how was the how was the outside world? It was spectacular. Spectacular. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to look into Patreon. I don't know how that works. I know I put a a support link on YouTube and Twitch has one too. You can do support that way. I don't I don't know enough about it and I know Twitch uses Bitcoin as well. My cousin was trying to explain this digital currency to me the other night and I don't know. I still don't get it. I need physical money. Yeah, the real shit. I need a real green. We can manifest in the waning moon. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful. Since we're in waning moon, don't ask for money to manifest. Ask for any blockages, yeah. anything that could possibly block manifestation is what we want to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Willow, I have hands. Oh, you have come to the conclusion that me and pain are officially a no-go area. Mm -hmm. Oh, painting? I end up with more paint on myself than on the canvas. That's the best journal. part. <laughs> you are the art. You're making yourself the art. That's awesome. Frugal, you, Gabrielle, I watched Frugal 
Crafter, Wander Forest, and Jade. Oh, as instructional? That's really cool. So when I was painting murals, mm -hmm. um, I worked with a woman at a color inspiration. That's cool. Uh, she, she pointed out one day. She, she was a neat lady. Um, she said, oh, look at my hands. Her hands, she had paint under her nails and, you know, like in the cracks of her yeah. skin. You know, her hands were thrashed. <laughs> I love it. She said, my ex-husband used to get on my case every time he would look at my hands oh. and say, you know, you're filthy and, you know, I don't, I don't know why you have to, um, you know, get, get some wow. dirty, this and that. And so she said after they divorced, she fell in love with her dirty paint hands. Mm. Because, I mean, you know, right? That's that just shows. Hey, yeah. be creative. That's awesome. I don't know if my ink is messed up right. I'm going for it. Good. <laughs> what did I say earlier? Oh, Art can't be wrong. Can't <laughs> be wrong. Trademark sake. Oh, I hear it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear it too. Mm -hmm. Cute. Whoa, mocap. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. Welcome back. I did wave. You, what did you miss? Uh, Aaron, uh, you are painting like you sketch. Uh, and I think that's awesome. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it's not, it's, I love seeing how different you can look. Well, see, this isn't a technique, though. This is Erin who doesn't quite know what she's doing. Uh, I, I doubt there are a lot of people that. Mocap sent some hand gestures. Talks about what? Oh, I love the delay. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. I know. See, like this isn't working. Um, ah, which one is that? That is like the that program. One's... Oh, okay. That um puts all things together. Cute. Were you at Yule last year? Uh -uh. I had, I, I was struggling. Mm. Um, I, in fact, I, I have yet to, to go to a Yule event at the Goddess Street. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, you know, the first couple of times I'm like, no, I, you know, I was so, uh, I was such a damaged Christian. Mm hmm that um it was ruined for you <laughs> yeah and yeah. and so it's like oh i don't you know i don't want to support that's um that's not a good it's i hope you make it this year <laughs> oh i will good for sure for sure <laughs> oops i'm sorry Ethan says, I used to use the pencils for flowers. Oh, for, for watercolor? Yeah. What are we doing? Are you, Gabrielle? Yes, Wassel, what are we doing? What we're doing for you. Oh, yeah, Ethan, that's where that's where you left us. We were, I mentioned that you guys had some snow and that you were able to go out and collect your first snowfall. Magical snow. I think I'm going to try to talk Aaron into driving up to Palomar if there's snow up there and oh, gathering yes. some snow. I'll bring you back some if I can get any. In a jar, of course. <laughs> Bless your new earth. Yeah. Oh man, that seems. Hand fasting is when I'm going to go to all you, you priestesses mm -hmm. to. Mind blessing. Mm, not at all. Mm. 
Hmm. Just kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at your brooms! Brooms! Yay. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Remember? Ah. So you're going to be like, tell Erin to shut up. Does she need to get so excited about everything? Oh, and... Sorry. Don't be sorry. Keeping this. Yeah. Oh, you can do it, 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 you a weird girl hates the little things. Concentrate again. Right. So I'm I'm used to a lot of contrast. What? <laughs> Gabriel says you both sound like the two girls from Practical Magic when they're getting ready to syrup. We're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, um, um, contrast. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm so used to like, you know, intense light and dark contrast. So I'm going to have to throw some black in here. But I feel like since it's watercolor, I shouldn't necessarily. You shouldn't have to. You can just mix your browns and blues and greens. Yeah. Becca, did you show Aaron my Yule drawing? I need. Oh. Yule. I haven't. Oh, that's the other thing. Mm. Did you take that? Um, you have his that sketch you did of the Native American woman. Is oh, that it's, in it's, your it's downstairs. Oh, okay, yeah. I still have to send you a picture of that. <sighs> it, oh, Ethan, your finals are over. How'd they go? By the way, I'm sure you're relieved. What are you studying, Ethan? Y'all. He's a fantastic photographer, and artist, in arts. Willow, so this is a random ask question. If a male witch trains to be a priest, if a female witch trains to be a priestess, what would that make a drag queen if he comes to a ritual in drag? <laughs> what would that make a drag queen if he comes to a ritual in drag? Well, i just say a queen. <laughs> just, uh, we had a... Yeah, we had tough. a transgender person, and they would have been priestess. So, hmm. I don't think it depends on what you're wearing. Do you? I I, I don't think so. Um, I mean, hell, a lot of uh, a lot of covens practice completely naked. So, mm -hmm. you know, that said, so let's let's talk about uh, this witch right here. The airy bear. The airy bear. How does this witch feel about uh, transgender and sexual reassignment and what have you? Um, considering that we all have the sacred masculine and sacred feminine within us, um, I don't think it should matter. Uh, you know what we are physically. Okay. Um, when you look at people. There, there's a, when I took psychology, um, learned about, uh, I forget what the, what to the illness is called, but you, it's when you have a body part where it's like, that's not mine. Mm -hmm. And so people are like, they're convinced, you know, that yes, I have this leg, but it can't be here. I don't want it here anymore. Take it away. Mm -hmm. And, and they're so convinced about it that some, that this particular per, uh, 
case that we saw in class, this guy dipped his leg in uh, dry ice. Ouch. Um, to, you know, to kill it. And, and, you know, it worked. And obviously they had to amputate it. And, wow. and he was a happier person for it. But mm-hmm. see, I, I'm kind of like, wow, you know, when, when it comes to butchering yourself, and brutalizing your own body, is that some, you know, is, is that necessarily the right thing to do? Because um, no, no doctor in their right mind would cut this guy's leg off if it didn't happen. Right. And that, so that's kind of how I see, you know, gender reassignment surgery. It, it's like, you shouldn't have, you know, you shouldn't have to mutilate yourself to, to be happy. I, I think it's uh, a social acceptance thing, if that is their... And that's true. That is how they're feeling. Like, I wouldn't, being a female, I wouldn't want to walk around with a penis. Mm-hmm. I, so I, would, I wouldn't think of it as mutilating. I would think of it as stepping into my, my own sexuality. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's mutilation. Um, but no, I think it's a different story altogether when you're like, just get rid, just get rid of the, the leg or, or, you know, I don't know. I think it's such a personal thing for somebody who wants to get reassigned. They're not going to, I hope not. I hope a transgender, uh, woman wouldn't want to put her penis in a, in acid to get rid of it. I think they would go through healthy options (laughs) to get rid of it. Um, that's my it's I, I and I mean to, to each his own mm-hmm. of course um I just think there are different ways to go about living with what you were born with um that you know still still be able to maintain the identity that you want but if you're attracted to men and you're a man but you don't you don't see yourself as a man wouldn't you want men that i think if in finding love that way they would need to have the right parts <laughs> you know if they're feeling like a woman and they want to attract men they're not going to attract the men they want to with a penis i agree for the sake of argument though, <laughs> i'm going to throw this at you for okay. the sake of argument um so i was watching star trek the next generation okay uh, any 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 next gen fans out there in your in your group? I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Um, so Dr. Beverly Crusher fell in love with this alien guy. She didn't realize that this alien guy was actually the, the, this particular race. They were like little worms. Their personality were little worms, and that they would get put in a specific species, mm-hmm. uh, a body. So something happened in this episode where. The body that this uh, the man that she loved was in was wasn't working out. So okay. he died. She had to put him in uh, Will Riker's character. And, you know they had a thing. They you know they had her. Um, but then uh, you know they needed Will back, obviously. So they had to send for another host, um, another host body, right? So Doctor Crusher's all excited. She's like, okay, so you know who am I hooking up with next? Kind oh, of thing, gosh. right? And right. then and then walks a woman. Mm-hmm. Um, and so my thought, you, you know, like they, Beverly saying, you know, I, I, I wish we didn't have so many, um, conditions and, and one part, uh, when the lady, whoop. we got real deep, real fast. Yeah, yeah, we got- <laughs> <laughs> Should I stop? No, okay. I've finished finish oh, your story. Well, um, so. So what 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 this episode ended with? It, it's basically Beverly's saying goodbye to this woman simply because it's it's a woman, but she's losing this person mm-hmm. that she really loved. Mm-hmm. Thought and thought, it's like, well, you know, she didn't really deserve the guy. If she couldn't love him regardless of his body, she mm-hmm. couldn't love him regardless of of his gender. Then, you know, she um, he's better off. And so for someone who, for like a man who, um, you know, is, is it fair to expect a man to be able to find love with another man who wants a woman? It's kind of like, well, if, if they can't see past your gender, then they're not worth your time. Yeah. 
but it's hard. It's I mean, a touchy subject. yeah, it's, it, no, it's a total, yeah. And, and again, to each his own. And, and I have, you know, I, I totally respect like people who make that decision. I mean, fuck, I got my, you know, come on. I, I, I had cosmetic surgery. Mm. I butchered myself. Um, so who, who am I to, to say? I don't see it's butchering. I think they did a great job. Yeah, yeah, they did a good job. <laughs> Lisa, um, uh, I'm male witch who is gay. I don't relate to priest or pref- label. I prefer to call myself a priestess. Oh, that is to yeah, that's totally a personal decision. I don't, and I don't, I think it's all about what you are comfortable being called or Ooh. addressed as, you know, I really don't use the word warlock. Um, but some male witches want to be called warlocks. And some women with the priestess status don't necessarily deserve that status. So it's, um, you know, but if you would like to be called priestess Willow, I would love to call you. You're a lovely soul. I'm so glad that we get to connect on here and you get to meet her and enjoy her art. Well, I would think that's all this priestess. I sh- I should ask. I, I Willow is a man. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he's a a a uh, I just... a male witch who is gay. Okay. I I also think that um, we're all sexual crafted beings gender in some way. And the next that next slide. Next slide. Next slide, please. <laughs> I just I'm just watching watching your technique. Making it up as I go along. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, you're on his wish. Shit, Seca, you're sweet. No. The title we go by and have, especially in this world. In this world. Oh, yeah, there's titles we go by and have, especially in this world. And, uh, wait, I'll just finish. But I feel as if we all have one thing in common, love. Yeah, Ethan. Yay. Yeah, love is love. Right, love, 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 love. Lots of it. Yeah, I think I mentioned um, there's a... a someone who comes by the the house and I talked about this before on stream but I don't I may may have mentioned a few they are born female female parts female job um but want to be addressed as they not she or he either they or by their name Okay. And it's very hard. And um, I had, because I'm so used to saying, oh, girl, that's awesome. Or, you know, it's just like a. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, totally. Habit. And I was having a really hard time the last time. And Aaron, my Aaron was like, like, I'm going to try, but I can't guarantee. It's just a, something that is so ingrained. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but if uh, they were to say, I would like to be called a he, mm-hmm. I think that would have been easier than they yeah. you know oh yeah it's so it's just really weird to, to either say they or the name and then you've got grammar nazis like myself mm-hmm. who it's it is the proper way to like if, if you're talking you know who's going to win this prize who and you know he or she will do this mm-hmm. you know that's the proper way they is actually inaccurate is it yep why why is that that's grammar oh <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's just grammar. So <clears throat> then so, yeah, what he, they are trying to do is not Yeah, accurate. it's it's he or she. And and you know, I mean, and there there are some grammar rules that no, you know, like people just don't pay attention to. It. That's fine. Um, this is an interesting conversation since I like to CD. What's CD? What's CD? Hi Scott, by the way. How are the fires going? Ooh, we're fine. Mm-hmm. Now, everybody else, though. Oh, by the way, let's talk uh, conspiracy theory. That is a, um, I think, a volunteer fire, fire relief prevention oh, fighter. Oh, wow. You hear we the just... Thomas Fire? Is that? The Thomas Fire. That's yeah. the big one. Okay, that's what, what they were working on. 
Um, and I, little Miss Erin conspiracy theorist, knows oh. that uh, if you take, so I found a article in Business Insider. Well, first of all, when I was working, I was listening to talk radio. Mm -hmm. They were talking about the problem around LA uh, with the homeless, a lot of homeless encampments. So they just have these huge, massive tent cities. Mm -hmm. I found an article uh, that um, that had a map of where these camps are. Okay. Camps anywhere from 100 people to 1,000 people. I mean, a lot of people. So you take that map. And you take where the fires have burned, place it over. Guess yeah. what? Homeless. Homeless. Problem. So it's so um, there's a lot of uh, you know like conspiracy theorists out there that believe that you know these fires are you know were set on purpose. Um, there's also this high uh, high speed rail that they're wanting to build, which also goes over that uh, that area. So. You know, and on, I, I suspect uh, there's a lot of, you know, people that are just never going to be heard from again. Mm. Um, you know, they're homeless. Who's going to look for them? Yeah. How is it going with the Thomas Fire, Scott? Willis says um, he's loving the gown. Yay! Thank you. I'm trying. So you could take the a wet brush mm -hmm. and take this. Dark area and this dark area and meet in the middle. Okay. I think that it looks like there's enough there to do. You're so gentle. It's so cute. Me, I'm like, get over there. <laughs> move. Okay, move. Such a sketcher. Yeah. Gabrielle says, I believe you, Aaron. With the homeless, uh, yeah, the fire thing. Mm -hmm. Ethan says, my dad talks about the same conspiracy. Chinese Aaron? Chinese Aaron? I'm confused. Ethan, what? <laughs> Was that a typo? Yeah, I like how it looks. Ooh. Yeah, it looks good in the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sure does. Oh, I never painted her hand. <laughs> All right, well. <sighs> Oops. Yeah, I'm definitely. But you know that about him. He is referring to Aaron? No, but why did he put Chinese? She's not Asian. <laughs> I was just wondering if, if Chinese was a typo or if there's an Aaron that I don't. Oh, I see. My dad talks about something with the California fires and Chinese are. And oh, I see. They're somehow involved. Mm. I see. Yeah, I mean, if it, yeah. Okay. There's always madness going on. Very, very scary. Mm-hmm. And of course, we're always being watched. And I often say, as I stare in my literally. phone. Literally. Yeah, literally. And sometimes I'll stare at my phone, I'll pick my nose, and I'll be like, see that? Do you see that? See that? Did you get see that on see the camera? I know you're watching me. And, <laughs> and last night, I even said... Okay, just show me some good conspiracy news. I'm not going to do anything. I won't be a threat. I just want to know. You just want to know if yeah. they're out there? Come on, I just, I just like the drama. I want to know. Get anything? It's entertaining. Oh, you just looked it up, you mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, there's definitely stuff going on with Missy Miss Hillary. Still, I don't follow it anymore. Mm. Well, so they're, they're doing everything possible to stay out of the, uh, to stay out of the media. Um. But uh, she, 
<laughs> so uh, she and, and John McCain were both seen with um, those like boots, like, you know, broken leg. Like mm-hmm. if you uh, sprain or uh, break a toe or something, you know, mm-hmm. they give you those. So Hillary had uh, supposedly had a broken toe. Um, and yet after, it's it's been weeks and weeks and weeks. So where she shouldn't have to wear it anymore, she's still wearing it. So people are thinking that she's hiding an ankle bracelet. Oh, jeez. People think that McCain is doing the same thing because he also got hurt. But for some reason, after a few weeks, his boot was on a different leg. And you're like, oh, well, maybe somebody, you know, like switched, you know, like switched the photos, right? Like, oh, yeah. Well, no, but his wedding ring <laughs> is a dead giveaway. Oh, gosh. Well, maybe he switched the wedding ring. Okay, so everyone else in this picture did the same thing. Everyone decided, let's all wear our wedding bands on our oh. right. <laughs> uh, Scott, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Oh, what's my favorite? I'm taking a time off today, set up a new altar. Send a picture. Again, I'm I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, I, was like, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know where to like, follow the conversation. Um, yeah, I, I I really don't follow it anymore, and I try not to talk about any politics. On, I mean, I try to stick to the the art and or pagan go. ideas and Alex. I think that makes everybody happy. Okay, let's not talk. About oh no, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite man? Oh, paid firefighter. Thank you for doing what you were doing. I'm sorry. Was it somebody you were close with? We lost someone in San Diego County. Uh, but, um, uh, there was a firefighter in San Diego County. Or the county had mm-hmm. a young daughter, and his wife was pregnant. I just heard on oh the news that, that he was killed. Wow. Oh. Unforgiving. Favorite conspiracy, though, is uh, we all have alien blood. Did you hear it? <laughs> I think. We are star children. Stardust we, children. Yes, we are star seeds, stardust, all that fun stuff. And um, all that junk DNA that we supposedly have. Because, you know, DNA is like certain, certain uh, codes of your DNA uh, create proteins. Proteins are, uh, are the things that, you know, make it work. Mm-hmm. And, um, <clears throat> where was I going with that? Oh yeah. So, Alien. so let's say, you know, for every, um, hundred base pairs, let's say 30 of them do something, right? So within these hundred base pairs, this one makes you lick your lips. This one makes your hair. This one as as I lick my right? lips. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then it's like, okay, but we have these other base pairs that don't do anything. They're junk DNA. So how do we know? We just, you know, they're. Their genes that we've lost the ability to express. What are you doing? I'm freaking out. I'm waving. Oh, who are you waving? Hi, Justina! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what you doing? Junk DNA. We're talking about conspiracy theories. <laughs> Beautiful bohemian magic. But what I, what I love about paganism is that it does take that into account. Um, like the Sumerians. Mm-hmm. You know, like. The deities that um, there there are deities that are from like from Sumeria, who supposedly mixed uh, mixed their DNA with like Neanderthals to make a slave race to uh, dig for, or to mine for gold, mm-hmm. and um, so now uh, and that that slave race uh right like right now people are waking up and so now there are the per the conspiracy there are benevolent reptilians who are who are here to take power from the evil reptilians who came and enslaved humanity in the first place very so the pleiadians on uh pleiadians benevolent anunnaki Arcturians, um, they're all fighting a war right now, okay. uh, a war for good and evil, and um, that's that's the that's your I, that's her favorite. That's my favorite. Oh, I'm <laughs> stuck. Oh no, <sighs> it's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> 
You know, you're getting ready for work. Go at work. She's a nanny as well in Jersey. Oh, cool. And she is just as upset. Yes. Oh, did you? See? Yeah. So we're gonna have tell them about the bumble bear. Ma- uh, uh, I th- magic I don't... night. <laughs> I can't wait to purchase it. My set. Uh, that's so nice. I'm wondering. Curious to know why it looks um it's not very high resolution in uh the screen right now, but I hope you're able to see what we're doing. Uh I don't know, Justina, do you were you here the other day when Erin was telling everybody about her her new um project or her <laughs> it's gonna be her life. Life, yeah. Your new cool. life. She has acquired land that she's going to turn into basically like a pagan oasis kind of deal. But one of her ideas was to, um, it's, I guess it's going to be, you have to jet in five minutes. Okay, we'll tell you about it fast. Sitting in the car waiting for the kids. Um, it's going to be uh, gardens and uh, herbal remedies and basically like a like a witchy shop and workshops and things like that. But she wants to do a monthly or bi-monthly you know viewing of um you don't know my friend this is Erin it's gonna be in California come see but we're gonna do a monthly or bi-monthly screening of practical magic people who want to come and like hang out and then um just have it maybe on in the background as the witches talk shop (laughs) and discuss um this the property and different different uh, recipes and things like that mm-hmm. yeah we, we think it's going to be really awesome oh, no. just got to be patient Good time. yay, yay! <laughs> you should you that must. would be wonderful you must must yeah Hmm. I wish I lived nearby so I could secretly live. Oh, secretly live at, live at her property. <laughs> Shh, don't tell her. <laughs> well, you know. Tantric gardens. Yeah, tantric gardens. Oh, yeah. The, tantric, is it called t- tantric, tantric honey, honey pot? pot? Tantric honey pot, yes. Oh, shit. Yeah, but tantric gonna... honey pot is going to be the private section within the greenhouse where tantric magic will take place. Mm hmm. Uh, in the presence of the plants to make them happy because plants like to see love and gnarly love. <laughs> Ethan says the California witch's cottage like Ivana in Australia. Ooh, look that up for you. Mm. I don't think I've heard of that before, Ethan. I'm not liking this mixer, but no. Yeah. Um, I'm not good at painting painting glass on the fly. Huh? Um, like glass containers are are hard because it. Uh, is that the name of her? Um, uh, her property, Ethan. My goodness, get it out. Witch's cottage. Let me look that up. <laughs> okay, skedaddle. Wish I can hang out longer. Have a great lady. So we need. Uh... And I know. Real life soon. I'll be on your side of town in the fall. Later. Bye bye. Dude. You upload. I saw that. It's on my to watch list. What? Um, Bohemian Match. Or Justina has a video about the Yule book from Lowen. Yes, I'm going to check it out later. I'll have Erin watch it. She's going to love me. <laughs> Her, so um, Justina just got married. Did I, I thought I talked. I don't remember who I told it to. Maybe I was just talking to them. Um, she just got married and she had a very witchy Ooh. wedding. <laughs> um, like her little tagline was, uh, I, uh, she put a spell on Patel. His last name is Patel. Oh, how cute. And they, um, she walked down the aisle to Magic Song. Oh it was so cool. Love it. Yeah. Witches, is it Witches Falls Cottage? 
Romantic getaway, lush rainforest off of. Ooh, yeah. The witch's garden. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, Willow says, as much as I love you two ladies, I said, I said, sadly have to love and leave for now as I have to go to my cousins. We'll be cat sitting for the next two weeks. No, bring your computer with you <laughs> or your phone. Um, I know we're going to, I'm going to wrap this up soon. So you and I have a chance to visit outside oh, a little more. Okay. It is Crimson Fire here on YouTube and it has a space called the Witch's Cottage where she does Sabbath events, herbs, crystals, multiple deities. I was working with new witches. That's awesome. I'm going to look it up. Ivana. Yes, that would be wonderful. Yep, that's basically what we're trying to do. Bye, Willow. Bye. Love you all. And Aaron, remember, I don't like your art. I freaking love it. <laughs> <laughs> Play Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Very sweet. All the sweeties. Yeah. Laters. Bye. I got some good peeps. I know they're so sweet. You like. Yeah, I'm not. Mm -hmm. okay. It just seems messy to me. Messy. Ah, shit. <laughs> what do I do? How do I take it no away? No. Uh, need to go to Mount Shasta to check out the aliens that live up on the mountains. Mm -hmm. You wanted to go there one day, didn't you? Yeah. You're like, let's go. Yeah. Like, I gotta go, go to work. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, totally down. Oh my god, did I show you the picture of Aaron I took last time we were at Joshua Tree? No. Do you remember my story that I told you that's where I saw the green orb? A couple yes. years ago? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Hang on. Re okay, in your mind. Green orb, Joshua Tree, nobody else saw it. Took that picture. <gasps> took that picture. Oh my god. Isn't that crazy? And that's the only one like it. Hang on. Oh my god. It, like it's not in any of our other pictures. Well, that's crazy. I have to wait because the dang delay. <laughs> Maybe they're looking at. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. I'm screaming. I'm You're screaming. like, because ah! <laughs> OBS isn't working. <laughs> Is the um? Oh, thank you, Ethan. Oh yeah, you can see it. Green orb. Why isn't that? Crazy? It's much greener in the photo. Yeah. Oh yes. my gosh. Uh huh. That's crazy. As in Lynn Andrews Joshua Tree. As <laughs> um, Joshua Tree is a national park about two uh, two hours from here, and there's de there's I love it there because you just feel this crazy different energy. It's awesome. <laughs> so in the next couple of weeks, I know you're going to be moving in, but come camp with us. <laughs> it would be awesome. Definitely. I ain't got no job. I know. It's, <laughs> it's so weird. It was so weird because all the other photos I took didn't have that super weird and it was the same place like it was on the joshua tree lake mm -hmm. that i saw it the first time this time it was in a different direction what would that be 90 degrees in the other direction but there's stuff out there ma'am it's out there i may or may not finish this no pressure i i might i might finish it but i like uh... Kind of. You committed. I, I put yeah, I committed and I kind of pulled it off and it kind of looks okay. Um, I mean it's not done obviously. Oh, okay. camera, we have to wait. Yes. Well, they see it down. Yeah. Oh. You want to? Do you want to? Do you have watercolors at home? I do. Oh, okay. I just have to pa unpack them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'll, go, so I'll leave this here. here. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave this here and I'll finish it up. Wow, it's like ten second delay. It's got golden goddess, my gosh. Yay! Ooh. Guys, we're going to hang out a little bit this weekend. I'm house-sitting, but I'll be back next week. Erin will be here as well. I will. Okay. Okay. Uh, check out the website. I'm going to actually... Oh, that's the other thing. I'll probably finish this weekend. I have another blog I'm going to put up about witchy well-being. 
different. I know Gabrielle, you do bullet journaling, but you can. Um, I'm gonna have printouts for you guys to do for stuff for New Year's, like a new a year ahead tarot spread. Um, just like it's an artsy page and uh, different ideas that you can witchy wellness well being ideas you can incorporate in your journals. So be sure to check that out. That's that's the other one that's coming up. Yay! Yay! All right, everybody. I'm gonna see. I don't even know if I can click the stop button. So we'll see if this works. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye bye. Nope, no, no, it's not gonna work. Hang on. Gotta quit. <laughs> goodbye. So, so long. Farewell. <laughs> I'll see you to say goodbye. Bye. OBS. We have.